think about your day and night It's only right to think about the one you love And hold them tight, so happy together to you. You're remarkably calm for someone whose firstborn is about to become a licensed driver. Why shouldn't I be calm? He's taking driver's ed. Have you seen those classes, Sarah? Four teenagers and a gym coach. He'll be fine. It'll be great. He can help run errands, pick up Peter, take him to clarinet lessons, pick up girls, take them to wild parties, <laughs> see if your car is faster than his friend's parents' cars. Oh, God, my baby's getting a driver's license. I was wrong. You're not handling this very well at all. <laughs> Hi, honey, any sign of them yet? No. I've been listening to the traffic reports, but so far they haven't mentioned Danny by name. <laughs> Does that thing get police banned? The state of New Jersey says he's ready to get his driver's license. They also say this is the Garden State. <laughs> He'll be fine. Mom, Danny, personally in charge of two tons of motorized steel? Think about it. <laughs> I'm fine, Dad's fine, car's fine. <laughs> And your dog will be up and around in no time. Corky! <laughs> she never knows when I'm joking. Alert the media, Danny got his license. And I live to tell about it. Honey, congratulations, that's wonderful. Um, thanks, Mom. <laughs> Are you okay? I was just remembering how you used to drive your little toy car up and down the sidewalk. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Before long, you'll be married. Probably move to California. Mom? Don't feel guilty. Just promise you'll call once a week. I will, I swear. It's that uh, postpartum thing. Tell me the truth, Ed. Is he a good driver? He's a great driver. He's a lousy stopper. But after today, it won't be our breaks he's ruining. You really bought a second car? I pick it up tomorrow, and the best part is Danny doesn't suspect a thing. You're getting a car? <laughs> it's supposed to be a secret, but nothing gets past me. <laughs> Look at this. Used car edition of Consumer Reports. Notes on adding a second car to the insurance. And... I found these classifieds in my dad's dresser. Check out the Camaro. Oh, man. This car is loaded. And care to guess what previously unattainable babe will be inaugurating my upholstery? <laughs> you finally got Lisa? You're a legend, Dano. And I am proud to be your friend. <laughs> so where's the bone jumping gonna take place? I'm not talking about Lisa. You've had 24-hour access to this chick for three weeks. You must act like a real geek when I'm not around. You just forget about Lisa, all right? <clears throat> now, what kind of shiver goes through your loins when I say the words, Rhonda Graham? The Graham Cracker? <laughs> I heard she went nuts in Phil Stan's Daihatsu. You get her in this Camaro? You're gonna find out what dual carbs and fuel injection really means. Yes! <laughs> you two seem awfully jolly. Anything I should be worried about? Oh, I'm just uh, <laughs> getting a set of wheels that drive women wild. Camaro, get away from me. If you're good, I'll let you drive it just up and down the driveway. Hey, 
Suppose you could manage on five cans of soda between you? Sure, sorry, Dad. <laughs> and I've been looking everywhere for those. Oh, um, I was borrowing some change off your dresser and couldn't help but notice them. Something you want to tell me, Dad? Yes. Stop stealing change off my dresser. Dad. You figured it out, didn't you? We haven't been able to surprise him since we brought his baby brother home from the hospital. Yeah, but this surprise, I won't try to trade for a puppy. Okay, let's get everybody down here, right? Peter! Sarah, honey? <clears throat> Don't worry. Even though I'm getting this car, it is not going to change the way I act. <laughs> Somehow I suspected that. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, Dad's buying me a Camaro. No way. He may be old, but he's not stupid. <laughs> Danny, this means complete independence. It means going where you want to go when you want to go there. Oh, believe me, this is going to make a huge difference in my life. <laughs> so, um, is there something you guys want to tell me? Well, your father is convinced that you're a responsible young adult now. Really? So, we bought another car. All right! <laughs> yes. Let me be the first to say, I told you so. No, it's not a new car. That's okay, Dad. These old ones are really stoked. But it's something you'll be able to use whenever you want. Yes. As long as Lisa doesn't need it to run errands. Oh. You mean Lisa and I are sharing this car? Let me be the first to say... <laughs> a second car? That's lovely. Thank you. Don't worry. Won't change the way I act. <laughs> I don't quite get how this is going to work. Now, 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 who's this car going to actually belong to? Me. <laughs> you know, honey, sometimes our car isn't available, and uh, Lisa has to go grocery shopping or take Melissa to the doctor. OK. But while she's out goofing around, <laughs> what if I have to do something important? You call McDonald's. You say, sorry, I'm going to be late. Could someone else please torment the waitresses till I get there? <laughs> Got your number. <laughs> She's also got your car. <laughs> Come on, give it a fair go. You'll have it 90% of the time. What kind of car is it? 79 Vista Cruiser. <laughs> a station wagon. Ooh, girls go crazy over those. I didn't know Camaro made a station wagon. You're cruising. Yeah, and so are you in your 79 Vista Cruiser. <laughs> I can keep all Melissa's things in the back. Her stroller, car seat, extra diapers. It's perfect. It's perfect. You seem a little disappointed about this. We thought you'd be excited. No, no. I am. <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Wow. <laughs> a station wagon of my very own, mostly. <laughs> Great. <laughs> What? Mom and Dad are going. They want you to come in so you can say goodbye. I'm washing my car. This is the fourth time you've washed it this week. So? So no matter how much you rub it with that sponge, it's still going to be a station wagon. <laughs> Look, at least I have a car. You and Lisa have a car. Watch it, Squirt. Mom and Dad are going to be gone all weekend, and once they're out that door, you answer to me. Let me help you with these. You're sure the kids will be all right? Honey, Lisa can handle it. This is one of the reasons we hired her. You're right. We're only an hour away, and it's just for one night. But what a night it'll be. We'll make love, we'll drink champagne, leave those little mints off the pillows. <laughs> I do love those little mints. Whoops, sorry. She started it. Boys, we're leaving. Lisa, the furnace shuts down every so often for no apparent reason. Now, if that should happen, there is a blue reset button on the main tank in the basement. Right. Mom, I know that. I know, honey, but I want Lisa to know, too, because she'll be in charge this weekend. <laughs> Wait a minute. <clears throat> when you say in charge, what exactly do you mean? Which word was too hard for you, in or charge? <laughs> what kind of stuff is she in charge of? Well, just anything that might come up. Okay. Say, say Peter's acting like a real pain. Who'd be in charge of stomping him into a bloody pulp? That would be Lisa. 
Don't worry, I'll be gentle. <laughs> okay, everything's set. Let's go. All right, you boys, be good. When Melissa wakes up, will you give her a kiss and tell her it's from me? Absolutely, and no worries. Have a great time. Oh, yeah. You might want to talk to Mom. Somewhere she got the idea that Lisa's in charge of everything while you guys are gone. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't make you put your jammies on before nine o'clock. <laughs> Does he get a bath tonight? I like her, Dad. <laughs> Look, just so no one's confused, what you're saying is that Lisa's in charge of everything and everybody except me. Read my lips. I'm going to make this as plain as I possibly can. I don't think it's going to be an issue. And if it is, we'll work it out. There, have I made myself clear? A hundred percent. I mean, but if it came down to truly something important, she wouldn't actually officially be in charge of me, would she? Yes, she would. <laughs> oh, no, it's the phone. <gasps> Who should answer it? We better ask the person in charge. Peter, would you mind? Good decision. Hello? So is this the way it's going to be? Hey, whatever you say, uh, you're in charge. Don't be a wowser. Speak English. A knit. New Jersey English. Get out of my face. <laughs> it's Matthew Tremino. Can you drive us to the movies tonight? His dad can pick us up. Sure. Whoa, Sorry, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tonight I'm using my car for my date with Rhonda Graham. You have a date with the Graham Cracker? <laughs> Not if I don't have my car. It'll take ten minutes for me to drop them off. The Graham Cracker? <laughs> they call her that because everybody's nibbled on her. Never mind. Just have that station wagon back here at 6.59 because Rhonda's mom's dropping off at 7 o'clock and at 7.01 she's in my car and it's snack time. Why don't you just pick her up? Because she's not allowed on car dates. Well, why are you taking the car? You were sent from hell, weren't you? <laughs> I am taking her in the car because she only dates guys with wheels. I think she ought to tell her mom what she's doing. <sighs> Look. You may be in charge of stuff around here, but you are not in charge of Rhonda Graham. Where did we go wrong? You want me to videotape my date? Yeah. You just plug this thing into the cigarette lighter and fade in. Gator, go. She's gonna be here any minute. I just wanna see what she's wearing. What for? So when I'm undressing her in my mind, I know what I'm taking off. Hi. Hi. Hey, Rhonda. What's he doing here? Um, leaving now. Okay, okay. Does that skirt have a zipper down the back? Go. <laughs> so, Rhonda. Perhaps we should relax on the sofa, get to know each other. But we already know each other. I'm Rhonda, and you're David. Danny. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be the Graham. Rhonda. Uh-huh. And that's Danny. I know. And I'm Lisa. I live here. You mean, like, in the house? Uh-huh. I help Denny's mum. I take care of the kids. The, um, point of order. <laughs> she doesn't take care of me. Yeah. Keys, please. Denny, we might have a bit of a problem. So handle it, all right? You're in charge. Now give me my keys. That's the problem. I'm afraid you can't have the car. What? <clears throat> She's kidding. <laughs> no, I'm worried about Melissa. Usually she loves to ride. This time she fussed all the way to the cinema and back. Probably because you drive on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> she just doesn't seem right. She seems fine. Now give me my keys. I'm sorry I can't. She might be coming down with something and I think I should keep the car here. You can't do this to me. <laughs> so if you have the car, that means like Danny can't have the car? Listen, I'll drop you and Rhonda wherever you're going. We're not going anywhere. We're just going out. <laughs> I thought you had your own car. I do, but... I'm going to see who's cruising down to Pizza Land. Come by if your babysitter lets you have the keys. She seems like a very nice girl. Well, we 
made love. We drank champagne. We ate those mints off the pillows. So what do you want to do now? We could start all over again. Again? I don't think I'll be ready for another mint for about 20 minutes or so. The Knicks are supposed to be on cable. Touch that button and you're a dead man. I'm kidding. I, I was kidding. Why don't we go for a walk in the woods? Oh, that sounds lovely. You know, I'm surprised. I don't feel guilty at all about having a nice time without the children. Families need time away from each other. The kids are probably enjoying this as much as we are. So instead, you turn this into the most miserable night of my life. I offered to drive you. Oh, well, thank you, goddess of the station wagon. <laughs> now, I am going to count to five, and I want those keys in my hand. One, two, three, four. I'll give you the ten. You can't have them, Denny. Oh, you hate me, don't you? I'm just trying to do my job. Ruining my life is not your job. I mean, ever since you came here, you have just been trying to take over. Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous? First you take my room, then you take my car. This is not about the car. This is about your parents left me in charge and not you. Oh, well, well, we'll see about that. I'm calling Mom and Dad right now. Good idea. Tell them that I need the car for the baby, but you need the car for the bimbo. I'm sure they'll see it your way. Oh, I get it. You're just hoping I call them, aren't you? Hmm. Well, let me tell you something. Be quiet. I... Don't tell me to be quiet. No, really, I mean be quiet. Listen. What's that? I knew this was coming. No, what is it? She's got the croup. The croup? Oh, my God, that's awful. It's not that serious if we take care of it straight away. Right. Um, I'll boil some water, you tear up the sheets. No, that, that's childbirth, isn't it? You call your parents and the doctor and tell them what's going on. Tell them what's going on? What is going on? What do I do? Uh, phone, phone. Mm, that's okay. I know how to use the phone. Hello, I need to speak to... <laughs> Maybe I don't know how to use the phone. <laughs> Mom and Dad weren't there. And you're not here. So who am I talking to? <laughs> Get a grip, Dan. Mom and Dad, we're out and the doctor's supposed to call us back. What the hell are you doing? Trying to get some hot water. She's not dirty, she's choking to death. She is not choking to death and I'm not planning to give her a shower. The steam will help open her lungs. Oh, where'd you hear that from? Some aborigine mm -hmm. medicine man? I mean, why don't we just get some twigs and berries and just do a little dance around it? All right, Denny, I can't take any more. You want to be in charge? You're in charge. Mm -hmm. There, what do we do? Well, well, we should, um, call my, call my parents, and we should, um, call the doctor, and we should turn on the shower. I want my mommy. She's resting now. The cop's almost gone. That was the doctor on the phone. What did he say? He said I should take a few deep breaths or I'd hyperventilate. <laughs> Sounds like a good doctor. Yeah. We'd better let her rest. Good night, you little rug rat. I guess I should tell you. <clears throat> Seems like we have Aborigine medicine men here in New Jersey, too. Thank you, Alice. Well, I told the doctor what you did, and he said you were exactly right. And I was a jerk. I mean, I figured that part out for myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. With seven brothers and sisters, I've been through it a few times. You mean they were all jerks? <laughs> No, they all had the croup. Well, I'm glad you were here. You were incredible. I mean, with the baby. Thanks. Guess I wasn't much help. Of course you were. Really? Well, if you hadn't done what you did, 
Well, it wouldn't have gotten done. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Y you probably didn't notice, but <laughs> I personally was a, was a little bit nervous about this. Tell you what I did notice. I noticed how much you love your baby sister. Oh, well. Don't go all dirty Harry on me. <laughs> I was impressed. Hey, a man who doesn't love kids isn't really a man. Right. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't enjoyed a walk so much in years. <laughs> Got any mints? <laughs> oh, Ed, look at these messages from Danny. Please call home. Honey, that could be anything. I know. It's this one that worries me. What's it say? Don't worry. Everything's fine now. You call home. I'll go bring the car around. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hey, uh, we took care of everything. She's fine. But why don't you go upstairs and check? <laughs> you still got a couple of hours before curfew. Guess you're off to pizza land. No, oh, no, I'm not that hungry. Oh, Rhonda, right. <laughs> Won't need these now that you folks are here. Thanks. Look, I'm sorry for what I said about Rhonda. I'm sure she's not a bimbo. Yeah, she is. <laughs> we'll have fun then. Thanks. See ya. See ya. Same plot, different weapons. Want a bite? No, thank you. Too full of graham crackers? No, I am just not hungry. What? I didn't say anything. You want to know how my day went, right? No. It was really weird. I mean, there we were in the back of the Vista Cruiser, dome light low, windows foggy. And all I could think about was how many boxes of Pampers would fit back there. What do you suppose that means? Simple. You just blew the best night of your life. I was afraid of that. Murphy's worst nightmare comes true when she's assigned to work with Corky, a pairing sure to make news on Murphy Brown, later tonight. But first, stay tuned for the new comedy that's outstanding in its field, as Brian Keith stars in Heartland. Next. This is CBS.